welcome everybody back for some more Mana Lords. Once again, this game is in early access, so we shall expect some potential errors or bugs or whatever. So let's not be too harsh on this game. So we've got a plot here that is apparently too far away from a market, which is not good. Family's not. Got someone in there. We got family in there. We got family in here. Got family in the church. I think we got a family over here. We got family in the foragers hut. We don't have a family in there. Storehouses are quite full. And everything is going relatively well. Peace declared as well, which is good because I didn't really fancy having a fight. Pretty healthy population as well. I think we can potentially increase that by maybe just making our market slightly smaller. Or. Build a house there. I think we can upgrade these. And we could probably upgrade the those as well. Upgrading the storehouses. We could probably upgrade the church at some point as well. It does need to have um, whatever resource that is. And we need to potentially get some crops going as well. This is what it needs. How do we get clay? I think we need a mining pit. And then we can put the mining pit. It's a clay deposit. So we got the large storehouse is now complete, which is here, which means we can store like 2,000 materials, which is really, really good. I was also going to go ahead and put in um, a little bit of housing.
in this area here. Because obviously the more families we have, the more um, materials we can have and stuff like that as well. And this is going to build up this house and then these ones can then get And we can expand the living space of that one as well. And then obviously that means then we can then start having so I'm going to take this one down and then make this one into the tier 2. And then go ahead and build that up. This one's now expanded. And then this one is also then too far away from the market. Which is not good. But then we got a new family in. Which we can go ahead and put in. You know, the highest actually. But then I feel like we kind of need like a cattle farm because we've got gathering, we've got saw pit, forester's hut, you know, all that stuff. But I think what we could do with is a little bit of animals. So you've got residential, logistics, mining, farming, and then sheep farm. Having a farmhouse would be quite good. Okay, we need one of those, and then that'll be really good to. So go ahead and connect. Of stuff is coming later. Everything's coming later, to be fair. And then this is a stone pit. And then we are obviously like. I think we're here. No, I don't just know where there are places. Yeah, this is us. So this is made, and then they're making clay, which is then going to get delivered to here when this is obviously built. Put it on the highest priority, as always. You can then also get upgraded to the next set of houses. Obviously, that's now also on the highest priority. And as is this, and everything as always. Go ahead and make sure everything is nice and good. We should have plenty of firewood and stuff. Can't you remember? Yes, so 23 months worth of food and 3 months worth of fuel. Do need to assign a family to build, unfortunately. I'll go ahead. 
and finish certain things. But we can also then go into the... I don't actually know how to get to that. The work area is empty. See, I don't know where to get the... Oh, here we go. So, this will get our specializations up. So, we really want this to be unlocked. We want to probably look at... I'm trying to think, because... I'm trying to think what's good. We don't really want armies. I think um, trapping would be quite good. I think the... Like the trade realistic would be pretty good as well, so we can get our trading up. I think that would be good. And we can get ourselves a... Like a trading post. Which we can put just down the end here. We also need a tavern, which is actually where I was going to put the tavern, to be fair. I suppose we could put the tavern here, where it loads. Like that. I have placed it, it's just loading a little bit slow. There we go. So there's two buildings going in there. to upgrade our church as well but it needs the clay which is kind of what we're waiting for really is a family to go in here so we've got a family in here now now you should start making some Play in there. Yes, yeah, so we have like thirty seven clay, and this needs the needs to make the roof tiles. Now we have two. Let's expand the living space of this one. We should put, should put in like a little area here. We have a family to live. the church which is now upgrading so this one's now is now is nice and upgraded and now this one can be the highest and then we can upgrade this one next and hopefully have plenty of obviously roof tiles and stuff I really want to start getting into the 
trading aspect, but also look at the clothing and stuff, because this is the tannery, which we have. And then this is that shop, and then this is the dyers. Then you've got smithery. It gets you tools. Then you've got farming. Maybe a sheep farm would be good. Plunk that in. Down here. It's a bit far from everything, to be fair. But the church is now upgrading. So that means we can potentially even get some of these guys to go ahead and upgrade. We got the tavern going in as well. Hopefully they'll finish this one here first and then go ahead down there to go and deal that other one. So a small stone church is now done. We get the bell sound and now the tavern should be start being built. And hopefully it does reach to these ones over here. Kind of hoping it does, so I don't have to build another one. But I kind of feel like I will have to build another one. Then access goods can be moved, but it's not really telling me where the goods are. You know what I mean? And then this can probably have get upgraded. Boom. Upgrade that. Which means this over here is not being done. Right over here. Now oh, the tavern's being built. These guys are in their gardens making stuff. He's going to come and deliver another log. There we go. So I don't, I don't get where these resources are. That's that's them there. Okay. Tavern's coming along nicely though. And he's going to go back and get another log. I have no idea what's going on. another family in there and then the granary can also have another family I think that also means that oh no we can't quite do that yet uh, we're gonna take two of those people out put another one in there and then we can obviously then have the a family in the tavern in a sec when it gets built and then there'll be another market stand I feel So yeah, that will then have that sorted, and then these guys will then be able to have a tavern. But they want ale, so we can't really do that yet. Because I'm pretty sure we can't just make ale. I'm not too sure how this works now. I'm also not sure how we can upgrade these things. You can put a brewery extension in there. We 
need to make sure there's families. So workshops can be used to purchase that kind of stuff. These guys now have a brewery in their back garden, which is kind of weird, but I suppose that's okay. All the church is okay. And then we got tavern, which needs ale. And then... Because I feel like it's going to be something to do with the tavern. It needs ale. But then the ale will come from... The, will come from making it because I have to make the grain so I have to make the ale don't I you know that just um So I do help and I do resources and I do ale, should be at the top really. So you need malt. Okay, nice. So we need malt to go and do that. Which I believe is done via the farm. I need a malt house. Which we I think can just about squeeze in. Just about squeeze in there. We'll see the trading post. And then obviously we're going to need a family to go in here. I might actually turn this up to the highest. It's just this one's going to be good because I can probably trade in for some. That's what I'm thinking anyway. So I'm going to wait for everything to build up and I'll see you guys when it's all done. So both our buildings are now up and running. We've got the malt house here, which we can add a family in. That means you don't have any builders, but for the moment, it doesn't matter as we haven't got anything prepared to build. That means someone will go in here and start going ahead and making the malt for the tavern. And then when the tavern is then... It has ale in it, I should say. When the tavern can then have ale, and then these then houses will be able to go ahead and do that now the clothing I'm not sure what to do with the clothing because I think it wants me to go ahead and add like an extra family in here but then to do that I then need to go ahead and build even more homes and stuff and I might go ahead and add them onto this side here so I can go ahead and do this and uh, that's going to be annoying and then we can go ahead and add the another set of houses on this side of the world go ahead and pull I 
this out. I want to rotate the houses though, kind of. So I'll build at that. But obviously no one's going to be building that actually, are they? Because I have too many people around. But no one in the trading thing. I can take someone out of here. To go and be a builder for a bit. And then they'll go ahead and build those houses. And... Get all that going. We haven't got any malt in there. How do I get malt? This help button is actually quite nice. Uh, we need malt. I've got meals. Malt. I think malt just comes from... Barley, yeah. So we also need a farm, which I was going to put over here actually. Ooh, that's a field. So we've got a farmhouse, and then we can then go ahead and build a. Good old field out back, which then we can then get a windmill. Sit there, communal oven to go there, and we'll get a sheep one to go. I think we've already got a sheep one, haven't we? So that will speed up time. We got to get these ones built up first, so we'll get these at the the highest of priorities. Just so that they are all good and working well. So, gonna wait once again, wait for these to get built up and make sure everything is running smoothly. Get the farmhouse and stuff all going as well. We've got a bunch of new families moving in as well, which means we can start reopening some of these areas as well. I think that means that we can do that, yep. So, so these can then have a. We actually just straight up upgrade them as well but yeah so i'm gonna wait for everything to build up once again and i'll see you guys in a moment so it's been a little while a bit longer than what i originally said i've got a little error here that says build more stables and stuff but or hitching posts but we have not too much of an issue we've got two Oxes and this person's going home. What a lovely name. Um, also waiting for him apparently for something. 
Uh, we got a pack station, but apparently we don't need a pack station. Apparently, all we need is a um, hitching post. Well, we don't need a hitching post. We need a. Yeah, we do actually. We need one of these instead. So, plonk one of those in there. That will then get built up really quickly, and that will fix that error message. I just want to double check about my storage buildings and that was absolutely fine so I don't really understand what is wrong with this I think it's so we can upgrade this to a small stable as well we're now I believe we are now trading for some stuff because I've managed to go ahead and import ale and then export hides so we can import eight of those and then import like another eight of these I think that's how you do that I'm not 100% sure very confusing um, but then this is now being built up to a stable so that should in theory get rid of this but it hasn't but you can order like ox and stuff into the small stables, that kind of thing. I think that means we're now going to be getting ale. I'm not 100% sure. We've got shoes because I've um, put it in the back garden of someone's house. One of these. But we need this one. Produces flour and stuff. This one would be good as well and we can get some more clothing and stuff going but it does take a family if that makes sense it kind of doesn't but it kind of does at the same time we also know have now don't have any families to do anything but we kind of need the farm going because we need malt but then if we are trading ale then we have ale and we can put a family in here and then take a family um how many logs have we got? Yeah, take a family out of there, put them in the tavern. We've got ale now. But then we got this. Kind of like error message. So maybe it's worth taking another family out and then building even more houses but then if we build too many houses so we're building way more houses there I don't know if they're gonna reach Not to mention they're all kind of a little bit ruined as well. This game is a lot more harder than I thought it was going to be, to be fair. We now have no... We have Tavern. And they are producing Ale. So you've got Clothing, Fruit, Variety, Fuel... And then, obviously, you can put, like, another 90 things in there. And then these guys have a... Oh. But they haven't got... Any ale? Not like free ale, but you see now this is now built. Then another family will move in here, hopefully. Meaning that we can have a little bit more building capacity. Yeah, there we go. 
And they will get built up eventually, and then the tavern is potentially now good. It's now got ale, but then these guys should then now be supplied by ale, and then we can finally upgrade the majority of these. So that one just auto kind of constructed itself. So that's what they're going to look like. So yeah, they're now building these and upgrading these. It's kind of massive, that, isn't it, really? Kind of just hoping that it, it gives more space to people. Anyway, let's go and have a little wander around. So they're now building up this place. We got guy going ahead and going around. We got our market stalls looking wonderful. We got our new houses around. That's obviously being turned into a, a newer one as well. We got our ox going around. That's also really good because I've got some extra ones of him. And then you can jump. No, you can't jump. I don't know. And this is our tavern. Obviously, there's not many people here, but you know. And we can go in the garden of the places that are being upgraded and stuff, which makes kind of no sense. But we can go ahead and look at all of the construction stuff that's going on as well. And then obviously we can go ahead and back out and speed up time once again. So now we've got a tailor's shop here which is good and then this is obviously a blacksmith and then you guys need an extra food store and then we can upgrade you again and you guys also need two extra food stalls and then I think we can then just upgrade a lot of these yeah the problem is is like this has got plenty of stuff and we can trade more. I think we need to trade for like honestly like 22 and then export maybe just like because we've got quite a lot of vegetables so maybe we can export these you know what I mean we can order a new horse as well. We know. You know, apparently there's no, like... You know there's, like, no space for anything, apparently. But we're going to get a bunch of families moving into these eventually. So that's good. Obviously these guys can then also then have their back gardens transformed as well uh, moving into blacksmith in here obviously these guys need a tavern supply and this harvest is not going to be ready for another like 200 days and then we're going to go barley but I think I might go ahead and also import some barley because these use this place uses barley I believe to make the malt so if we bring in if we import what's full trade actually that might be a good idea actually to go ahead and do that as well for this one because we've got horse here I've got someone in there. Obviously, we now don't have any, like... We've got no wealth. Import. The amount of money from your region can be used to, for import and converted into your treasury via tax policy. So, maybe a treasury is in order. I've just realised that we have no um, wood coming in. 
Which is why everything's going real slow. And then again, I don't think anyone lives in these. And this one has like two people, but doesn't really need two people, so we can get rid of that. And this is way too big for what it needed to be anyway. But yeah, it seems to be going okay, I guess. I mean, big expansions have been made, and I'm kind of understanding the game a little bit better. We have 30 houses. Um, and then we got... Obviously, one level one family and a couple of level one level three. And the happiness is pretty good. Um, we got administered buildings. So maybe, maybe we just need to build a manor. Oh, the settler's camp is. I can't remember where the settler's camp is. There was one, because I remember there being one. Maybe we can build another one. Ooh, we have enough money. I think I might have screwed myself. Trading post is good, but I want to export more. Because exporting, we can obviously then sell You know, and we kind of need money. Hmm. We do have an army. I don't just don't know where they are. army apparently I've rallied my army over here but and everyone's now moving into the houses Also running out of food. Region is used import or convert in converted to treasury via tax policy. None of it is in here because it's all Obviously, obviously we're in early access, so yeah. I think we just need to, because I have one of these, so if we full. thing is that we haven't got hides. This is the thing. 
I think this is the problem. Like, we don't have hides because... Oh, I can't really remember where you get the hides from. I think it's in here. Yes. So if we put another family in there, maybe we can get some. But we haven't got any hides to trade. And now that we're running out of Because you guys are all running out. And then I can't. So we need hunting. So we got two families in there, and then we got this one, and I'm pretty sure there's a hunting cabin in here somewhere. Yeah, I did think there was. There's one here, but... Should have a bit far, any. And then this one obviously has... Some limited stuff going on. It's like now we're full full training these. Hmm. We also very full export these. Problem is we're gonna run out of food. Wasn't sure where everything went. Oh, I think we've failed anyway. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Manor Lords. Um, I'm not really sure what to do about these two things. This one is food-wise. I think I'm going to fix that in a bit. Um, just because that makes sense. I'm going to actually go ahead and hit the trade post. And go ahead and trade my roof tiles. Just because I've got so much. Like so many roof tiles. I don't need a roof for that one. I'm going to stop this one. Just need money, really. 
But I hope you guys did enjoy, and I uh, hope to see you guys next time for some more Mana Lords. I'm trying to like get a nice overview, and the game keeps snapping back. But I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope to see you guys next time for some more Mana Lords.